I mean, I still had to get myself together and fight because there were things that were going on. Dame Dash's world was profoundly impacted by his relationship with Aaliyah and his tumultuous partnership with Jay-Z. Their story intertwined with the tragedy of R. Kelly's abusive behavior and his manipulative marriage to Aaliyah presents a complex narrative of friendship, betrayal, and moral confrontation in the music industry. Throughout the years, Dash has been vocal about his feelings toward these incidents, and his insights provide a unique perspective on events that shape both his personal and professional life. To understand the roots of this story, it's essential to first appreciate the significance of Rockefeller Records, the label co-founded by Dame Dash, Jay-Z, and Kareem Biggs Burke in the mid-90s. Rockefeller represented more than just a record label. It was a cultural powerhouse that showcased the rise of Jay-Z and many other influential artists. At its core, it was built on the principle of loyalty and the shared dreams of its founders. However, as success soared, the foundations began to crack, particularly when the issue of R. Kelly's involvement with Aaliyah started to surface. Aaliyah Houghton, an extraordinarily talented singer and actress, was caught in a devastating entanglement early in her career. At just 15 years old, she was manipulated into an illegal and secretive marriage with R. Kelly, a man twice her age at the time. This dark chapter of her life was one that Aaliyah rarely spoke about. And I wanted to self-title this album because I feel that when my fans hear it, they'll get a sense of who I am. And those close to her shielded her from discussing the trauma. Dame Dash, who later became romantically involved with her, understood the depth of her pain, even though he refrained from pushing her to relive those horrific experiences. Dame's relationship with Aaliyah was one built on mutual respect and understanding. Aaliyah was not just a star, she was a beacon of light and positivity for those around her. Dash often described her as an angelic presence who was poised to change the world in more ways than one. Their bond was evident to anyone who knew them, and despite their busy lives, they shared moments of profound happiness. Aaliyah's tragic death in a plane crash in 2001 was a blow that shook Dame to his core, leaving him devastated and battling immense grief. The events surrounding Aaliyah's death added a layer of pain to what Dame perceived as Jay-Z's betrayal. Only a few months after her passing, Jay-Z, a close friend and business partner whom Dame considered a brother, decided to collaborate with R. Kelly on the now infamous Best of Both Worlds project. This decision left Dame stunned and hurt. How could someone who was aware of the torment that Aaliyah had endured at R. Kelly's hands choose to work with the man who had caused her so much pain? To Dame, this wasn't just a business move, it was a moral failing of the highest order. It marked the beginning of a schism between the two men that would eventually fracture Rockefeller and end one of the most prolific partnerships in hip-hop history. While Jay-Z continued to ascend, becoming a mogul in his own right and expanding his influence far beyond music, Dame struggled to come to terms with his partner's actions. He could not simply ignore the ethical implications of collaborating with someone like R. Kelly. Over the years, as more allegations against R. Kelly surfaced, the singer's influence and power began to wane. However, for a long time, Kelly's status in the music industry shielded him from facing any real consequences for his actions. Question if something negative out of your mouth with all due respect, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Many in the entertainment world, including Jay-Z, turned a blind eye to his predatory behavior. Dame Dash was one of the few who consistently voiced his disapproval, even though it came at a personal and professional cost. He was alienated by parts of the industry and lost significant opportunities because of his refusal to stay silent. This moral stance set Dame apart. He viewed Aaliyah as more than just a girlfriend. She represented a sacred memory that needed to be honored. His loyalty to her legacy meant rejecting any association with R. Kelly, a position that put him at odds with those who prioritize business over principles. This unwavering dedication to Aaliyah's memory, even in the face of overwhelming opposition, highlighted a side of Dane that many may not have expected, a side rooted in deep emotional scars and a desire to see justice served. Aaliyah's untimely death also left Dame wrestling with guilt. On the day of her fatal flight, he had urged her not to board the small twin-engine plane that ultimately crashed. He vividly recalls telling her, don't get on it, a plea that haunts him to this day. This loss compounded his sense of betrayal when Jay-Z later chose to move forward with R. Kelly. To Dame, it was as if the industry and his closest ally had completely disregarded the significance of what Aaliyah went through and the tragedy that befell her. 
In the years that followed, Dame's career took several hits. He became known for his brash personality. So adamant about me get, taking a shot at Ciroc and I'm like, nah, and I brought my own. Which often rubbed industry executives the wrong way. Many attributed his fall from grace to his temperament, but the truth was far more complex. His anger was fueled by a profound sense of injustice, not just for Aaliyah, but for all the young women who had suffered at the hands of predators like R. Kelly. Dame's confrontational approach and refusal to back down were not simply characteristics of a difficult personality. They were manifestations of a man grappling with immense sorrow and betrayal. The release of the documentary series Surviving R. Kelly marked a turning point. It brought to light the full extent of R. Kelly's predatory behavior and the many lives he had destroyed. It was a moment of vindication for Dame, who had been vocal about Kelly's crimes long before it became widely accepted to criticize the R&B singer. As the documentary aired, Dame's emotions were raw. He remembered the conversations he had with Aaliyah about Kelly and the pain she felt whenever the topic was broached. The documentary's revelations also triggered a broader reckoning within the music industry, forcing many to confront the ways they had enabled or ignored abusive behavior. R. Kelly was eventually convicted on numerous charges, including sex trafficking and racketeering, and sentenced to 30 years in prison. For Dame, this moment was bittersweet. Justice, while necessary, came too late for Aaliyah and the countless others who had been harmed. It was a whole nother, whole nother thing, and I'm sure that people also know that. Nonetheless, it represented a victory of sorts, a vindication of the stance he had taken two decades earlier. His persistence in speaking out against Kelly, despite the professional cost, was finally recognized as the right thing to do. Today, Dame Dash continues to carry Aaliyah's memory with him. It's a pain that you don't, couldn't understand. He honors her by advocating for trauma rehabilitation and focusing on creating a legacy that prioritizes health, healing, and integrity. His career may have taken a different trajectory from his former partners, but in his eyes, he chose the path of righteousness, staying true to the values he holds dear. Dame's story is one of loss, loyalty, and redemption. It's a testament to the enduring power of love and the lengths one man will go to protect the honor of someone he cherished deeply. While the world may remember the drama and fallout from his split with Jay-Z, Dame's narrative goes beyond the typical story of business betrayal. It's a story of a man haunted by the past, struggling to come to terms with the cruelty that claimed the life of someone he adored, and finding the strength to speak out when it mattered most. The scars of his past are still visible, but they are reminders of battles fought for the right reasons. As Dame looks forward, his journey is a continuous fight to ensure that Aaliyah's legacy and that of other victims like her is preserved and respected. However, in the aftermath of Jay-Z's collaboration with R. Kelly, the industry began to take notice of the larger conversation surrounding the ethics of such decisions. Jay-Z's image took a hit and the project Best of Both Worlds, which was initially hailed as a monumental partnership, became tainted by R. Kelly's legal battles. Mom, who is in heaven, join Kelly right now, my best friend in the whole wide world, Aaliyah. Jay-Z, ever the shrewd businessman, eventually distanced himself from Kelly, cutting ties and making a series of strategic moves to protect his brand and reputation. Yet, the damage was done. Dame could never forget or forgive. Their estrangement grew deeper as Jay-Z continued to climb higher in the industry, solidifying his status as a cultural icon. He became not only a musical powerhouse, but also an entrepreneurial force, marrying global superstar Beyonce and creating a business empire that spanned music, fashion, sports, and tech. Meanwhile, Dame Dash's career faltered. He found himself sidelined, not just because of his confrontational style, but also due to the shifting dynamics in the industry that Jay-Z seemed to navigate with ease. For Dame, it wasn't about wealth or fame. He had tasted both during Rockefeller's heyday. It was about principle and standing by what he believed in. We're a family at Rockefeller. Jay's my best friend. Even when it meant losing everything he had worked for. This internal struggle was something that Dame has been open about in recent interviews and documentaries. He often reflects on how choosing to honor Aaliyah's memory came at a steep cost, but maintains that he wouldn't have done it any other way.
Over time, the industry's perception of Dame shifted. No longer was he seen simply as the loud, brash executive. He became an advocate for ethical business practices and a voice of conscience in a field often criticized for its lack of integrity. His journey has taken him through various ventures, from fashion to independent film production, always carrying with him the lessons he learned from his time with Aaliyah and the fallout from Rockefeller. In recent years, Dame has refocused his energy on projects that promote healing and self-awareness. He has spoken at length about mental health, especially in the context of dealing with grief and trauma. His insights, drawn from his own painful experiences, resonate with audiences who have gone through similar struggles. Dame's story has become one not just of resilience, but also of transformation, using pain as a catalyst for personal growth and change. The music industry silence around R. Kelly, even as rumors swirl for decades, is something Dame remains vocal about. He has repeatedly called out for those who chose to collaborate with the singer despite knowing about his abusive history. In a recent interview, Dame emphasized that complicity is as harmful as the crime itself. He believes that the industry's willingness to overlook such egregious behavior for the sake of profit is a systemic issue that must be addressed. It's a stance that has garnered both support and criticism, but one that Dame feels is necessary for true change. Looking back, Dame's narrative is one of unwavering commitment to his values. Even when those around him falter, his relationship with Jay-Z may never be the same, and Rockefeller may only exist in memories and archives. But Dame's impact extends far beyond those early successes. His willingness to confront the uncomfortable truths of his past and advocate for the voiceless sets him apart as a unique figure in the often morally ambiguous world of entertainment. With every new endeavor, Dame Dash seeks to build a legacy that aligns with his beliefs, a legacy that honors Aaliyah, challenges injustice, and promotes healing for those who have suffered. The fight may not always be easy, but for Dame, it's the only path worth taking.